Taiwan says it will allow people who got a first dose of the AstraZeneca vaccine to get a second dose of Moderna or Pfizer. The Central Epidemic Command Center said that research in the UK found that mixing AZ with Pfizer generates a strong immune response, much stronger than two doses of AstraZeneca. AstraZeneca is rolling out nationwide. In the future, those who received one AZ dose will be able to choose Moderna or Pfizer for their second shot. Taiwan's Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices has reviewed overseas studies on vaccine mixing and decided to allow mixing and matching. Right now, based on the data collected abroad, it seems that the safety and effectiveness are up to par. That's why they reached this consensus in the end. The University of Oxford conducted a mix-and-match study on 850 adults aged 50 and older. They were divided into four groups. One group received an AstraZeneca shot followed by a dose of Pfizer. Another received Pfizer followed by AstraZeneca. The remaining two groups got two of either AstraZeneca or Pfizer. Their neutralizing antibody titers were compared. Researchers found those with two Pfizer doses had the highest concentration of antibodies at a level of 14,080. The second highest was AstraZeneca, followed by Pfizer, at 12,906. The third highest was Pfizer, followed by AstraZeneca, at 7,133. The lowest concentrations were found in those with two AstraZeneca shots, at 1,392. In conclusion, the study found that vaccine mixing is effective at stimulating an immune response. The group that received AstraZeneca followed by Pfizer ranked number two. So it seems that if you get two mRNA-based vaccine shots, there is no need to mix AstraZeneca with Pfizer. You don't necessarily have to do that, but mixing and matching is also an option. Honghai and TSMC have secured a deal to donate 5 million Pfizer vaccines each to Taiwan, with deliveries scheduled to start in September. Some of those vaccines will be set aside for the 1.4 million people in the 12 to 18 age range. They may also be administered to the more than 3.4 million people who have already received one dose of AstraZeneca. Getting AZ first, followed by Pfizer, generates a better effect than Pfizer followed by AZ. In theory, that much is correct. But we need to see that supported by real-world data. In Taiwan, National Taiwan University Hospital and Taoyuan General Hospital are conducting studies on mixing AstraZeneca and Moderna. Meanwhile, Chang'e Memorial Hospital is researching whether the locally developed Medigen vaccine, which is based on protein subunits, can also be added to the list of vaccine combinations. The Medigen vaccine is a protein vaccine, and it seems that one of its advantages is fewer side effects. For many vaccines, the second shot produces greater side effects. That's why we wanted to research this. Vaccine mixing could be an important way forward as more vaccine brands become available in Taiwan. Local medical bodies are carrying out research to find which combinations are the safest and most effective.